Lieutenant Colonel Latino Perez here with the uh, episode six of Arguing the Operational Environment, and this is our uh, uh, part five of the special series on design. Today we're going to discuss the distinction between working and presentation diagrams. Now, you recall that when we talked about systems thinking, uh, we used as our example General uh, uh, Rodriguez when he was commander of ISAF Joint Command in Afghanistan. And the, the, what we describe in terms of systems thinking is a series of nodes that represent stakeholders and then the relationships uh, between them. And what happens as you do this, uh, and, and, and people start to focus on the whiteboard or the blackboard in order to, uh, to come up with an uh, understanding and visualization of the operational environment, is it gets really messy. But these are not intended to be uh, uh, presentation graphics that the commander is going to brief to Unified Action Partners. These are simply messy drawings that facilitate the execution, the conduct of design. What you saw me uh, build when I discussed systems thinking with General Rodriguez is an example of a working diagram. These are always going to have to be done. It's the only way that several people working at a whiteboard or a blackboard, markers in hand, can produce an understanding and visualization of the operational environment. But the commander still has the obligation to communicate his understanding and visualization to all unified action partners. The way he does this is by somehow, with his staff, cleaning these messy working diagrams up in order to create presentation diagrams. And what I'd like to do now is run through a series of real-world presentation diagrams that our commanders, some of our top leaders in, in the U.S. Army, uh, have used. So I'm going to show you is a series of uh, uh, slides that General David Rodriguez used as uh, Commander of ISAF Joint Command. This one here, uh, Complex Human Terrain, is, a, is an example of how he described the current conditions in the operational environment. This next slide, the enemies of the Afghan people, uh, you could say is, is the way that General Rodriguez described the problem that he had to overcome in order to get from the current state to a more desirable state. And it was not just ISAF Joint Commander ISAF, but it was also our Afghan partners uh, and our coalition partners working this. But he, com he, he saw the problem is uh, fourfold, including the insurgency, uh, poor Afghan leaders interspersed through good Afghan leaders, uh, uh, criminal uh, networks, and a counterproductive international uh, community practice. This is an example of a presentation diagram that articulates the problem that a commander faces. This one is a combination of two. At first, it describes the weak connections that exist between the various levels of government in Afghanistan. Hence, this uh, helps uh, reinforce the notion of what's going on in the environment now. And it also uh, describes uh, what's desired, which is strong connections between the various levels of government. General Rodriguez also used this term from fear and uncertainty to trust and confidence. These are conceptual ideas that he's using. Uh, and so you can see here uh, the durable enough to withstand challenges articulates both current and, and, uh, and desired state. Uh, this slide also articulates part of the operational approach, which is that we're going to emphasize partnership with our coalition and Afghan partners in order to achieve uh, and to uh, engender accountable Afghan leadership, and this is both military and political, uh, where ISAF would work from national governance level on up, ISAF Joint Command and the regional uh, um, uh, commands would work from the provincial level uh, of governance all the way down. This was General Rodriguez's favorite slide. As you can see, it's a conceptual description of what General Rodriguez thinks needs to be done or needed to be done when he was in command in order to achieve uh, some modicum of success in Afghanistan. This is uh, Klaus Witzian in, in form, where we have uh, uh, what, what he wants to achieve, and we discussed this when we talked about systems thinking. He wants to achieve a tight integration between the people the security forces, and the government with a focus on subnational government and a focus from bottom up. That is the role that the regional commands and ISAF Joint Command played. And the intent was, if we can create unity, we can squeeze out the four enemies of the Afghan people. Conceptual in nature, but this is the way General Rodriguez described uh, his intent to all unified action partners. Uh, another example, this is General uh, David Petraeus's uh, Anaconda strategy uh, uh, for countering AQI, Al-Qaeda in Iraq, when he was a, a, a commander of MNFI. 
This is an example of how he articulated uh, his, uh, his uh, understanding of visualization. He applied the same slide with uh, significant changes uh, when he commanded uh, um, ISAF in Afghanistan. This is another example of a presentation diagram. This is uh, General McChrystal's uh, uh, description of the operational environment. It articulated his understanding of visualization. This is General Flynn, who at the time he made this was a top intelligence officer in the coalition uh, in Afghanistan. What you see very uh, explicitly here, and this is his slide, is a, a diagram, a picture, and words to describe how it is that we're going to counter the IED uh, a threat in Afghanistan. And uh, General Casey, I'm going to show you a, a few of his uh, slides. These are the way, uh, ways that he uh, articulated his understanding of visualization. This specifically is his view of the threat in the summer of 2004. You see, this is conceptual. It's a presentation jargon. This is his initial uh, campaign framework, lines of uh, operation, effects or conditions, and then end state. This is uh, General Casey's view of uh, the post Samara security environment, March 2006, once again conceptual. And how he thought that he was going to overcome uh, uh, this threat here in terms of conceptual uh, work that his unit was going to do. Yeah. So what we have here is just a messy drawing. And the question becomes, how do we get from a mess messy working diagram uh, to one uh, that is clean? like uh, General Casey's here, uh, General McChrystal's, uh, General Petraeus's, or General Rodriguez's. That's the trick. Next episode, we'll uh, talk about systems theory. Thanks.